So these mystical stories have been going on for a very, very long time. It is obvious that it is magical and mystical in and in the today's world, it is still noticeably known to be factual evidence as in terms of eating an apple can enhance and or increase your own intelligence if you have forgotten and or if you are mentally not align proper as in terms of your thoughts and or coordinating your own real conversations. As in the past, as in other topics, we have discussed that it is an amazing gift to give a teacher an apple. So in this very day, it is obvious that these mystical, magical things and belief still exist. So when we're talking about being mortal and having a max out body age and completely divine and is oneself and reaching infinite life, infinite dreams, infinite homes, and everlasting life, it obviously has to come with a price. As everything has a price and everything is earned, it is obvious that Nothing in life is going to be given easily. So when we're talking about these witch casted spells and or these types of casted away and or not objected but as in terms of sent to somewhere that a person doesn't even know they are sent to is obvious that it's not only faith that wins but obviously all life have to work together to help one another and sometimes it is not the person's actual self as in terms of wanting to be casting people and or sending people into vicious cycling ways but it is obvious that it is a natural cycle of one and or many as in terms of characters so when referring to if you remember your life path and decisions that you have made and our stories you have heard and the findings and our teachings in your life including the chosen relationships and or the items you like and have bought it is obvious that sometimes a part of you and or something of you is actually looking at something else. For example, angels have abilities to see somewhere and or some world. So if your angel eyes are looking at something that you really like, then it could be your divine partner. It is obvious that when we are stargazing that the reflection and or beauty of a planet and or 
something that you're looking at could be your divine partner. As dogs and the long old stories of animals that are mammals that run into the light to go to the next life obviously indicates that it's an entry and a door to pass to the next life. It's a sign that obviously there are other ways to exit as in terms of dark black tunnels as well. It is certain that people choose their path before their next life entry. So it is obvious that that sometimes some choices made are real choices and some choices made are accidental, real accident choices. And when we were talking about when we were talking about the decisions that one and our many make, it must mean something to someone and our many. If you find yourself past your immortal age and you are stuck in prerogatory and have not passed the next life, then it's an obvious sign that during these times maybe it's best to reflect on your life. For example, the decisions you have made and or what you have learned, including which future path you want to take. So it is actually definitely not forced upon one or many in terms of passing to the next life as when you do pass to the next life, I have discovered that I always have a choice in the passings. Some might and some might not, but it's obvious that it seemingly seems that you must reflect on your life if you are stuck in purgatory and past your mortal age. For example, if you are severely ill and cannot function properly, people must obviously reflect on their life in order to rest in peace and pass the next life. If you are obviously at the end of the paths and cannot choose to exit, then what is stopping one or many people. It is an obvious sign indication that there must truly be something that is inhibiting and or stopping many to excel and or succeed into a gracious and externally good journey in the infinite life and our dream.